So welcome to our the mobile wellness unit here. And this portion of the class is our core stability class. So we'll do 30 minutes of exercises that are going to strengthen the lower abdominal muscles and the muscles of the trunk, so all of the core muscles. So just remember to keep a really strong center, pulling your navel towards your spine, hugging everything in to protect the lower back as well. So move in a way that feels good. If something doesn't feel good for you, certainly if there's pain, don't do it. Um, and enjoy. All right, ladies, so we'll start sitting off, sitting on the ball. If you don't have an exercise ball at home, sitting on a chair is fine. We're using a, a stretchy resistance band here. So we're gonna bring the feet right underneath the knees. Hips width apart with the toes pointing forward. We're gonna align the ears and the shoulders right on top of the hips and pull the navel toward the spine. We're gonna bring the arms out in front of you. Keep those shoulders pulled back. The neck nice and long, shoulders relaxed. We're gonna take the arms out to the side and forward. So working the muscles of the upper back. Nice tall spine. So sitting on these balls, there's a little bit of instability. So we are working the core muscles. Try to keep the rest of the body pretty still. And just moving those arms. Good, one more and then we'll change it up a bit. Good. So from here, lift those arms up at a diagonal and then we're gonna pull down and up. Keeping those arms nice and straight, lengthening through the wrists. And I'll remind you over and over <laughs> to pull your belly into the spine. It's easy to forget. Sometimes we get lost in thought, we're thinking about the alignment of other parts of the body. But really important to keep really strong through the lower abdominal muscles. Last one here. Good. And then we're just going to bring those arms all the way down. You can let go of your band. Bring those arms behind you. Bring the hands to the ball or the chair behind you. Press down and lift up. Just taking a nice big stretch. Shoulders back. And then sit tall. Arms down. So now we're really gonna challenge the core muscles and balance. So bring all your weight down into that left foot. Pull the belly in and float the right foot off the floor. Try not to wobble. Mm, that's part of the challenge, it'll happen. But just try to stay as still as you can and then float the left arm up. Okay, if you want, maybe try to straighten that right leg. Here's the big challenge. Maybe lift the right arm up too. Big breath. And then we'll lower all the way down. Good, okay, other side. Press down into that right foot. Draw the navel in and float that left foot up. It helps to flex the foot, pulling the toes to the shin. Then maybe the right arm. Shoulders heavy. Maybe kick that left heel all the way out. The grand finale, maybe float both arms up if you're feeling pretty stable. Take a full breath and then lower all the way down. Nice job, everybody's still on their ball. <laughs> Roll the shoulders back. Good. Hands to the tops of the thighs. So getting some movement in the spine, we're going to roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, tilt the head back, and we're going to pull the belly in round through the lower back, drop the head. Inhale to arch and lift. Exhale to scoop the belly, pull the navel to the spine round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round, once more. And then sit all the way up. Sitting tall, bring the arms to a T. We're gonna rotate. So keep the shoulders back. 
drawing the navel in, start to rotate to the right. Imagine that someone is pulling the arms away from one another and then come back to center. And then to the other side, rotate. Shoulders back, belly in, and to center. Keep the hips square, keep the knees even as you rotate, and to center, and the left. One more time, each direction. Lots of balance here. 
Rounding navel to spine. Extend once more. Good. And lower all the way down. Sit back in child's pose. Bringing the bottom to the heels, folding forward. Breathing deeply. And we're going to come all the way up. We're going to get our rollers. For those of you at home that don't have the bolster, you can simply lay down on the floor on your back. the back of the neck as well as at the lower back. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Begin to breathe deeply. And then on your next inhale we're going to sweep both arms all the way up over the body reaching back behind you and then arms out to the side and down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to the side and down. Just moving with your own breath. Opening through the shoulders, the chest, and just moving at your own pace. One more time around. rest down by the hips. Shoulders heavy. Walk the heels in close to your bottom with your feet hips width apart. Knees over the ankles. We're going to bridge. So we're going to press down into the feet and lift the hips up. As the hips lift, shoulders heavy. Keep that space under the back of your neck. Keep the knees in alignment with the ankles. Take another full breath and then slowly lower down, articulating from the top of the spine, lowering vertebrae by vertebrae. And then come back to neutral. Take a full breath in and then lift your hips up into bridge. Shoulders heavy. From here, float the arms one at a time over the shoulders. Keep those hips lifted, take a full breath in, and then articulate the vertebrae down from the top, lowering, rolling that lower back down into the roller, and then coming back to neutral. Lower the arms down beside the hips. Shoulders heavy, last bridge. When you're ready, press into the feet, float the hips up to the ceiling. Shoulders heavy. Make sure the chin is lifted away from the chest. And then float the arms up. Then reach the arms all the way back. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Take a full breath in. And exhale to articulate all the way down. Lengthening the spine as you lower. As you come back to neutral, Sweep the arms to the side and all the way down. Good. Some balance and stability work. We're going to take the right arm all the way back behind you. And then we're going to lift the left foot off the floor, tap the knee with the fingers. And then lengthen the left leg all the way out as you stretch the arm behind you and bend and tap and lengthen and reach. 
So important to keep a strong belly, always pulling the navel toward the spine. If you're on that roller, try not to wobble. We'll do one more. And then lower the arm and the leg down. Take a breath. And we'll reach the left arm back behind you, shoulder away from the ear. And then we'll lift your right foot up, tap the knee, opposite knee and hand, and extend and reach. Bend and tap. So only doing as many of these exercises as feels good for your body. The quality of the exercise is more important than quantity. Stretch. 
take a full round of breath, a full inhale, and a complete exhale. And then just slowly slide the arms down by your hips. And here, we'll do some crunches. So we're gonna lift the arms up so that the arms are even with your hips. Fingers are reaching forward. And then we're gonna press the lower back down as you curl the head up and slide the fingertips up toward the tops of the thighs and then lower back where you started. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Moving with your breath. Each time you curl up, the abdominal muscles are shortening. And that shortening is what is lifting your body up. So rather than momentum, it's those strong lower abdominal muscles that are working to move the body. Keeping the chin slightly lifted away from the chest so the neck is nice and long. Remember, listen to your body. If you're still going strong, we'll try for two more. And then we'll just lower all the way down. You can turn the palms face up and just let your head roll to the right. An easy stretch for the neck. back to center and over to the other side, keeping the shoulders heavy. Good. And all the way back to center. From here, let's roll over to the right side to come off of the roller. We can just slide the roller out of the way. Lying down on your back, arms beside the hips. Okay. So we're going to press the lower back down into the floor. Bring the knees over the hips. Point the toes. Slide the right leg out, the left knee in, and then switch. Back and forth. You can bicycle the legs up in a diagonal or the lower you go toward the floor the harder the work. You want to keep that lower back touching the floor. You can keep your head on the floor. For more challenging you can float the head up, maybe even the arms. Keeping the chin slightly lifted. If this is too much on the neck then just lower the head back down still a really good abdominal workout. Breathing. Good. Be where you need to be. Good. And then we're going to pull both knees in, lower the head down, and just rock from side to side across the lower back. Slide the arms to a T and just let the knees fall over to the right side. And turn your chin to the left, taking a stretch. Bring your head to center, lift the knees up and change sides. yourself up to a seated position. So we're going to sit with the feet flat on the floor, hands behind the thighs, toes point forward, shoulders back. 
So ears and shoulders right over the hips, belly pulling in. And then we're gonna scoop the belly, really draw the belly in, press the lower back toward the wall behind you. So you're on the back side of the sitting bones. Walk the feet in a little closer, bring the big toes to the floor. Shoulders back. Your arms are helping you to keep your body lifted. And then we'll lift the right foot up and down. Left foot up and down again. Once more. And then maybe lift the right foot. If you're feeling strong, you can lift the other foot. You can keep the hands behind the thighs or if you're able to keep the chest lifted, maybe extend the arms out. Keep drawing the belly and the thighs upward. Take another full breath and then lower the feet. We're gonna cross the legs, bring the arms forward and just fold forward. Just going where your body goes. Slowly come all the way back up. We're going to swing around to the front of the room and extend the legs out. So our last exercise here is the song. This is a traditional Pilates exercise. We want the bottoms of the feet to be flat, like you're standing on the wall in front of you. You might need to bend the knees a little or a lot because you want the ears, shoulders right over those hips and we're gonna bring the arms to a T. Legs are a little bit wider than the hips. We're gonna to rotate to the right. Flip your back palm up to the ceiling and reach and stretch. And then come back to center, lifting tall, keeping that long spine as you rotate and reach. Inhaling as you lift up and exhale to rotate and reach. Head up, inhale, exhale to rotate, shoulders away from the ears, and just moving with your body, never forcing or pushing. One more time, each direction. Just sit tall. Let's cross the legs for a final stretch. Stacking ears and shoulders over those hips. We're going to lift the right arm all the way up. Walk the left arm out to the side and take a side bend. Keep that right hip heavy on the floor as you stretch the right arm up. Shoulder back, maybe turning your gaze upward to the ceiling. all the way up. Lower the right arm down. Float the left arm up. Shoulders heavy. And then walk the right arm away. Side bend. Keep that left hip heavy. And then come all the way up. Arm down. Take a nice big shoulder roll. Reach those arms behind you, clasp your hands, and then try to straighten the arms and reach the knuckles down. Roll the shoulders back, tilt the chin up, opening up through the chest. Take another full breath. And then release. And you're done. Good job, ladies.